Hello, welcome to this very special edition of the Pace Report, reporting live here at the Iridium here in New York City. Tonight, you're going to witness history. The founding father of the Funky Meters, Leo Losantelli, tonight is joined on the stage with the legendary Fred Wesley of the JBs, as well as Bernie Worrell, one of the founding keyboardists and founding members of Parliament Funkadelic. Tonight, all three of us are going to sit down and talk about the future of funk, the history of funk, and where it's getting ready to go. this fusion well you know I've been working with Bernie man for you know for a bunch of years so Bernie and I have been associates for a long time and also Fred so us working together is really not a new thing you know we've been we've done it several several times before and uh, finally got the opportunity to work it out with the Iridium you know I was hired here um, uh, you know I was hired with the with from the Iridium to come do something and uh, he asked me to, you know, who I want me to get some special, as a special guest. And hey, man, they they were the first people on on my list, you know. I, you know, I, th I said Fred, if you can get Fred, man, that would be great. And Bernie would definitely be the deal, you know, to to kind of make this uh, this thing gel at, at, as a band, and um, and and we would be able to put on a great performance, you know, with with these uh, with these legendary people. What makes this unit so, so very special is the fact that you have Bernie, who brings the whole Parliament P-Funk, as well as Fred, who brings the whole funk force, and then you bring the whole New Orleans funk flavor to it. Is there something that funk music has done for people that just gets people up and starts dancing? Most definitely, man. Um, and th this is a special thing because... Bernie, uh, Fred, and and the Meters, myself, you know, we're we're from the same era, you know, the same time, you know, different parts of the country, and and I think, uh, you know, especially tonight, when and when you get an opportunity for those mixture of cultures, you know, to come together musically, man, it, it's really magical, you know, and I think, you know, what what happened tonight and the last couple of nights. 
you know, to where, especially tonight with Bernie at the reading was a magical thing, man. And, and um, you, it won't happen very often. You know, you could say, well, those guys did the funk and they played their butt off and whatever. But uh, people don't realize the speciality of what actually happened tonight and what they actually heard. It's a possibility unless, you know, unless we do this, you know, several more times, go out on a tour and do the same kind of thing. It's a possibility that they might not, not never, ever hear this again. <laughs> guys this evening what is it that you really enjoy about leo's guitar playing and, and just his musicianship because everybody in this group brings he wows me <laughs> he, he, he just wows me leo's technique his tone his energy his feel you know that's the, the, the meters Okay, it's uh, it collectively these all 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 of them. But when I found out that he wrote some other songs that that, that I didn't know, you, you know, I, I know knew the songs. Then we talking one day, and it come to find out that Leo came up with that lick. That's the brain there, paper. I, I feel, in, in my opinion, when the meters start happening, man, you know, my whole idea was to take my song, take my material, and use the meters. Uh, and when I say the meters, I don't mean individuals. I don't mean George Porter. I don't mean Art Neville. I don't mean Zig, Zig, Zig. I know it just, you know, it just happened where those guys, you know, were there and uh, the time was right. We all were playing together long before the meters, so, it, you know, we became the meters. But the whole idea was for me to take my material that I had and use the meters as an as as, as a as a uh, vehicle, you know, to to get my material over and and you know and, and, and let people hear it. I mean, at that time, I wasn't I was I wasn't too much into the business. I was just happy to hear my stuff over the speakers, over the studio speaker. Yeah, listen at that. Then and then 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 I love it. Yeah, you know. Um, so you know, I shared I shared a lot of the stuff with 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 with, with our George and Zig. And in uh, in in a lot of you know the, the writing basically was ninety percent you know I did ninety percent of of the mu writing, you know. But you know in in the credit for giving Art and George credit, those songs could not have been um, put got, could have could have not been musically got got put across unless those guys played it, you know. And that was the whole, that's the whole secret. So I think even though it's my material and my songs. It took those three guys to make those to make those songs live. Everybody say, pass the peace, pass the peace, pass the peace, everybody, pass the peace, pass the peace, come on, pass the peace. Like they used to say, why don't you pass the peace, pass the peace, pass the peace, like we used to say, pass the peace, pass the peace, pass the peace, like we used to say.
was that out there? It was a house party. We um, had a house party. Anytime I get together with Bernie Warrell and now Leo Nocentelli and Bill Dickens. Wow, what a bass player. And Adrian. Adrian is a great drummer, isn't he? Yes, sir. Oh man, we had a, we had a, we, we had just, a house party. We, we, got a, we, we got a house party. You guys are really pretty much part of the instrumental phase of funk music, and one of the things that you guys continue to do is you continue to play it. Explain briefly some of the origins of funk music, because Bernie, you were part of the experimental rock with Parliament Funkadelic, and then. You were part of the James Brown band, the JBs. What was it that made it so instrumental to not just R&B, but the evolution of soul music? Brainstorming. <laughs> Experimentation. The freedom to experiment with everyone's ideas. Therefore, you get new creations. You, you mix musics. Then you get hybrids. You get another thing. That's what the rappers did after we, from our forefathers who came before us, Ray Charles and whatnot, then we started experimenting with that. Now the rappers start experimenting. In another way, with technology, then there's technology also that came in the picture where they could sample and then take their ideas and, and make another hybrid and it goes on and on and on. But not forgetting that everything comes from the one, the man up above. You know, when I was with Jane Brown, we did a lot of experimenting. Jane Brown wouldn't admit that he was experimenting, but uh, I was. Jane Brown would hum me licks and uh, bass lines and drum beats and I would translate it to the band and and uh, uh, it came out however it came out you know it came like Pee Wee said it, nothing is until it is then after it is then it is you know so uh, uh, that, that that's how things happen well that's how uh, doing it to death happens it was just a doom do doom a beat Jabo came up with the beat then it was a, a guitar line Cheese came up with that guitar thing chink 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 and then Fred Thomas came up with that bass line do 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 and then it was huh, Jane Brown um, made up some words you know gonna have a funky good time and it, it was just a creation it was just all uh, uh, spur the moment creativity is what it was <laughs> The 70s was really a beautiful time for funk music. I mean, you had a hodgepodge of groups, the Meters, Parliament Funkadelic, uh, J the JBs, James Brown, the Ohio Players, Slade. Yeah. What was it that made funk music just against the grain with all the regular R&B and pop that was going on at the time? 
I would say is against the grain. There's brown rice, there's white rice, there's Cajun rice, there's red beans and rice. It's like I was saying before, it's an, another gen, genre. It's all, everyone, every, f- to me, everything is related. All music is related. The, tonight you heard, I was playing some classical stuff uh, in, within Funky Miracle, or, or, or whatever song that was. Yeah. It, 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 uh, uh, I'm sorry, what was it? That was it, Funky Miracle. And, and so, so it's a relationship and evolvement. You know, listening to to each other and merging. Here we go with that word merge again. We just merge and here come the hybrids. I think funk I think funk is basically uh, just a, another another genre that they came up with, you know what I mean? Funk been in existence a long you know, since the since the beginning of the time, and you know, especially in R and B music. You know, to prove the point, um Sissy Strutt was recorded in 1960, 69, 68. You know, that's a long time. That was before there was even, people was afraid to even say funk. Funk was like embarrassing to say. So it's really not the music because the funk music has always been around and the players has always been around. It's just the name changed. You know, R&B became funk, you know, so to speak. And you know, I think a lot of people, you know, even though, you know, funk is, is a different, different thing altogether because, and I think people start appreciating it but without the people to make it happen, because you know, it takes a certain amount of soul and inside, uh, inside what you got inside to make funk happen. And everybody can't play funk, man. You know, and I, when it's a lot of my clinics, I, um, guitars, guitarists ask me, hey man, how, can you teach me funk? How can I learn funk, man? It's not like, you, you can learn how to play classical music, you can learn how to play jazz, you can learn how to play a little country, you know, uh, but you can't learn how to play funk. It has to be in you. If it's not in you, forget it. It, it ain't gonna, it's not going to happen. It's as simple as that. It's a special thing, special genre of music that, 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 that only uh, the people that, that has that certain thing inside their soul can be, or, or, can, 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 or, or able to project it. You know, certain people are, on, there's only certain people able to project the funk. <laughs> for another dish of the Pace Report reporting live here at the Iridium Jazz Club here in New York City. I'd like to personally thank Leo Nocentelli for his time as well as Fred Wesley and Bernie Rorell. As always, please visit my website, www.thepacereport.com for my weekly column as well as my past segments. Until next time, remember if it's in the groove, it'll make you move. Until next time, peace. Party, 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 party.